Okay, hello there guys. So, very, very quick video. I've just put a sat nav on my Suzuki RF900. The funny thing about it is, it's actually a car sat nav. Uh, it's a Tom Tom. Which I bought used. It cost me literally peanuts. And, uh, I've plugged it into my 12 volt socket. And I bought this 10 quid sat nav holder on eBay. And as you can see, it's hooked pretty nicely, and it actually does the job. So this is my first test ride with this uh, sat-nav. The only disadvantage of it, I would say, is obviously I can't hear a lot, especially when I'm riding on the motorway, because firstly, it's not very loud. Secondly, it's all packed in this holder. And you know, thirdly, I've got a helmet on and there's wind and the rest of it. But you know, in the town where you actually need the sat-nav to be heard, I can hear pretty much everything. Um, as you can see, the picture is pretty good quality. It's all waterproof. And it's awesome because it's being charged constantly by my 12 volt socket. So I, I guess that was a good decision to put it on. Finally, I can feel comfortable on my motorcycle knowing I'm not gonna get bloody lost. Ideal for long journeys. So anyway, I, I've set up the road to get back home and we'll see how it does. Oh, that's a Bandit 1250S, liquid cooled. Lovely bike, very comfy, very powerful. I like it. Nice to see another Suzuki on the road, really nice. And so, yes, if you are interested in doing the same for your motorcycle, I might tell you now that the total cost of it, if you go for a car sat nav like I did, and you go for a second hand, and if you're ready to prep everything yourself, that's not going to cost you too much. And considering the benefit of having a sat nav in a motorcycle, it's definitely worth it. Now, I know it's showing me to go on the right, but I'll actually go straight because I know this road and it's going to be quicker for me to go this way. So much better now, seriously. Just a bit of a wind, oh my god, makes such a difference. Okay, so it's, it's rebooted already. It's showing the right direction. Because I actually know where I'm going. So that is good. Oh, I can hear it talking to me. That's good. So yeah, as I said, you know, on the motorway, when you're charging 80, 90 miles an hour, obviously you will not hear a bloody thing. But in a town, when you're just cruising around 20, 30 miles an hour, definitely. It's actually audible. Now, it wants me to go left. And so I'm going to go left. Okay. Bloody hell, this is way too hot for me. It absolutely fries my balls. That's my bad. I misjudged the weather. Am I gonna fit? Yay! Power always available. Come on, let's go back home. This traffic is absolutely ridiculous and it's getting worse every year. I ain't got a clue what the hell will they do about it, but I think in 10 years time this town will be absolutely screwed. Therefore, motorcycle is the only way to go, my friends. Somebody's had a mishap. Oh dear. 
Right, so the sat nav is working well. I can see everything clearly. I can actually hear her talking to me around town. So that's good. It's mounted pretty securely. It's mounted on the Velcros. So that's good. Okay guys, so just to cut the story short, the sat nav is spot on. I'm just about to get back home. I'll be there literally within a minute. Uh, it passed the test. Every single aspect of it is good. Is this something you consider doing for yourself? Do it, because it's worth it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.